Yo, what's up, boys, and welcome back to the end of our video. This one is going to be covering a game we've been waiting over six years for it finally to come out. The game is Dead Matter. You guys have probably heard of it before. If not, here's a few titles on the screen. Although this game's technically been in closed alpha for the past three years, there's been an NDA on the game for those past three years. If you're watching this video right now, that means the game is out right now on Steam, which also means the NDA is over. And oh, do I have an interesting video for you guys with that in mind. Uh, you can tell me I'm over-exaggerating with this, but please watch the full video. I'm going to try to make it short, although I've got so much to say. I don't know how I'm going to fit it into a small video here. But I genuinely believe this could be one of the most problematic early access zombie spell games we have ever seen. This is a spawn area in the background, and yes, that is a pool. Dead Matter has such a wide scope. It didn't just want to be a basically simpler version of Daisy. It's trying to do more than Daisy. Like I said earlier, electricity system, hordes, planes, trains, AI settlements, all kinds of really, really optimistic goals with Dead Matter. If you are watching this video as soon as it goes up, I will be live right now on Twitch, streaming my first impressions of Dead Matter multiplayer. You can check out the live stream at the top of the description. Most of the gameplay you're going to be seeing in today's video is on single player. You can tell if it's multiplayer or not if you can see the packet loss icon in the top left. The reason most of it is on single player is because there isn't any multiplayer servers to play on right now. There hasn't been for days now. And when there was multiplayer servers to play on, which you'll see some footage of that as well, there was almost no one on them and they had so many issues. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with the first servers being relatively empty because it's not out at the time of this recording. But the point is those issues those issues were really really bad on single player and multiplayer but that's only with two people at most i think in any of the footage during this video which is just insane two people they plan on eventually after another three years of early access having 128 players per server look at how many issues are on this video and those are all in a contained environment aka single player i'm sure you guys can see how much worse this could potentially get with the addition of multiplayer not just with, you know, several people, but with tens of people or even a hundred people is their eventual goal. This game has received over $9 million Canadian dollars in funding, by the way, in case you were curious, $250,000 or so on Kickstarter, 1.5 million or so on Indiegogo, and then 5 million allegedly from Tencent. I would highly recommend checking out this Kira TV video. I'll leave an annotation of that in the top right to see a bit more history on Dead Matter, a bit behind the financials, and talking a lot about the absolute disaster that has been the development of this game. I'm not going to be focusing so much on QIS, their history, their employees, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to be looking at the game. And uh, I'm sure you guys can see from the background footage so far, it's looking, it's not looking very good. It's not looking very good, is it? The issue with this game is the scope. And, and that's why I said in my original video I released three years ago now, uh, which was titled, I think, Why Dead Matter Could Be a Disaster. It's because it's trying to do something really, really hard to do. And you can see that firsthand in this footage right here. I know a lot of people defending the Dead Matter project due to the NDA have said, oh, well, this footage that's been uploaded online by this person, oh, that's, that's an old build. This is the nightly build. This footage was all recorded in late August after August 28th up to, I believe, September 6th, which is the day I'm recording this actual voiceover. The nightly build does get updates every single day, but those updates have done things like make zombies fly now. This is a new thing as of today. Zombies now, they fly. It looks like they move now, kind of, but they're flying. And this is again on single player. And why is the game 140 gigs? Oh my god. I knew this was going to turn into an unhinged rant, but hopefully you guys get where I'm going with this one. I wanted to have this prepared in advance for when it comes out on Steam. So hopefully when it does come out on Steam, people will be like, whoa, what's Dead Matter? And then they'll find this video and be like, oh, it's a hunk of shit. And I feel bad. I actually feel bad because there is some talent behind the QIS, which that's the name of developers, which I didn't really clarify earlier. But yeah, QIS of the developers of this game. There is some talent in that team and there are a few things which I do like about this game. But at the core, like I mentioned earlier in this very video, um, the scope is just way too big. It's way too big. Why have you felt the need to want to even have hordes in a game, which as is has so many issues, I just don't understand. The game doesn't really work very well. And then they're like, oh, well, let's let's have thousands of zombies per server now. How is that going to work? How is that on a technological level going to work? Let's listen to this little clip from the CEO. I believe he's the CEO, I'd imagine, of QIS in the newest Dead Matter blog from a few months ago. If you're looking really close, those aren't ants. They're zombies. The session that I recorded this in had 2,751 zombies to be exact. This is just for one town and the server is capable of simulating a lot more. This is without any sort of system to enable or disable simulation, which means we have a lot of room for optimization. 
So we're supposed to believe that in a game where when I drop my clothes, which for some reason, as you'll see right here, when I drop my pants, <laughs> uh, my shadow disappears, I don't know what's going on there. But in a game where I can't even pick up my own items after dropping them, we're supposed to expect that we can have, how many zombies was it? 2,751 zombies. And that was with him saying, oh yeah, but there could be even more. He didn't say like, that's it. No, he was like, oh yeah, we can push it further. Don't worry. And this is a really common issue in the game as well. I don't want to show you too many of them, but the game crashes a lot. It crashes so much. And it's especially weird because a lot of people have access to this game right now. Everyone who obviously backed the game, millions of dollars worth of backing, they have keys to, to play the alpha. But still, the, the, the Discord's relatively calm. Even Johnny saying, do you seriously think the NDA is about hiding shit? Yes, I absolutely do. What kind of game has an NDA for three years? Even three years ago, when I made that first video, I couldn't use my own footage. I couldn't say my own opinions. I couldn't show you gameplay. Like... That's, that's absolutely why the NDA is there, or at least if it, that wasn't the reason why it's there, that's what it's done. Through the past three years, I've made millions of dollars from this game that you're looking at right now. So uh, whether the NDA was there on purpose for that reason or not, that's the outcome that it had. If people were able to make footage on this game three years ago and talk about how terrible it was, um, then I don't think it, I don't think we would have made as much money as we did. And they certainly, at least I'd hope so, we wouldn't have got that 10 cent $5 million either. And you know what? I gave him a bit more leeway three years ago because the game was only three years old at that point. They were still, you know, getting off their feet. You know, once you get that millions of dollars, you don't instantly hire a team. You find the right people for the job and boom, you're good to go. You need some time and some effort. But this is six years, more than six years later now. And there's much worse stuff coming up, to be honest. You'll see this bug right here is really odd with vehicles where, I mean, you can drive with no wheels, which is weird. But I just took the wheels off the vehicle drove it away, and then I had more wheels on the vehicle again? There isn't any kind of a damage system, I don't believe, with the vehicles. And right now, I think there's only a handful of vehicles. There's this one, the one which crashed my game a second ago, the uh, SUV thing. You'll see pretty much all the vehicles in the game during this video. Uh, I've seen a lot of people saying like, oh yeah, I hope there's, I hope, look at this. What is this? <laughs> oh, I hope, I hope there's an RV in the game that we can drive. No. There's no, the only RV in the game is this one, and it doesn't have a texture on the interior, okay? And you can't go inside it. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying about the vehicles, I think it's just the different wheels you can put on and off, and that's it. You don't need a crew about to put them on or, on or off, anything like that. You'll see also when you right-click on any weapon, you'll see this screen, or also this screen looks completely bugged out. When you hover over, the tooltip just says hello. Like, I just don't, how has no one, like, seen this? Like, whether it's in the dev team or in the closed uh, beta, which they have, like, an, a channel to, to share these things with. How, how is it? How is a lot of the things in this? How have a lot of things in this video not been fixed? Like simple things like world objects flying and stuff like that. I just don't get it. I, I don't know what they're doing. I really don't. In terms of things that I do like, though, you'll see just simple things like this right here, a door which you can uh, automatically run through. You'll see if I go ahead and close it right here and then run through it, and it opens automatically. Like it feels like you're like pushing it open. That's kind of nice. It's a nice little detail. But the POI, such as the school right here, it, it's a very nice building. There's a few nice POIs in the world. Some of them run really, really badly. I'll show you guys one of those in a, in a bit that runs really, really badly. But you'll see things like this. This is the, one of the biggest POIs in the map. Maybe the biggest POI in the map. And it's in the floor. And this is a few days before their supposed release. In fact, this was during pretty much their supposed release date. And everything's clipping through the floor. I just don't get it. I do not get it. And speaking of POIs, a lot of their old footage, I mean, if you're like a real dead matter historian kind of expert, you know, I'm sure you'll, you can think of millions of, not millions, but so many things that they've shown or talked about that isn't in right now. Um, but yeah, I couldn't find the police station PY or that underground mine thing they've shown ages ago. I, I, I don't know where those are. And I spent hours no clipping around this map. So maybe I'm just blind. I really don't know. But I do like the 3D assets in the world. The buildings look good. The weapons look good. The animations look good. There's lots of attachments for weapons as well, which is cool. Although I didn't have too much experience with it since I was playing single player. I am excited to see how that works on an actual multiplayer server. Sounds I'm not so sure about. The music in the game is great, but there's just a general vibe of sloppiness in the world and the, the core game as a whole. Like this is me right here going up my first ever set of ladders. And honestly, at first I was, I was shocked. I was like, wait, am I actually... Am I going up these ladders? And you'll see the performance in this area, KP Research Center, really bad. This isn't like st stuttering because of a rendering or something. This is just how, how this area is. But you'll see you go up the ladders in, in slow motion almost. It's, it's very peculiar. And then when I arrive to the top, I find a dead person who is untextured. And then I fall out the map. Ah, nice. I feel bad for people who are excited for this game though. 
I've been there as well, where I think in my head that the possibilities of like the ideal zombie survival game and the developers say all the words I want them to say. And Dead Matt have done that. They've fed people uh, these, these promises of these features uh, for years now. And I mean, maybe still they can clutch it up here. Maybe when it comes out on Steam, hopefully in a few days, based off of what he said, uh, maybe it's going to be all good. But I don't understand, like, why are these NPCs right here? Why is Mitch even in? Why does he not have any voice lines? Why is there this thing right beside Mitch? This is Dominion, by the way, the Survivor Settlement, I believe. Why is there a thing right beside Mitch that says the Chef Vendor location with no Chef Vendor in there? I, it just doesn't make any sense. But when I say no voice lines, by the way, I don't mean voice acting. I mean, he just says the same thing over and over again. There's another NPC. I found three NPCs while playing this game. I, I don't even know how. Uh, in a golf course, which does have actually several lines. But the, none of them give you any quests. There are quests in the game. But I just don't understand how they're going to work, considering there's no map. The only map in the game is untextured. So I don't really know how you're going to work out how to do these quests. Well, I guess just people, will, you know, share with each other online. And why does she say thanks for clearing out the infected here? I didn't kill anyone. I literally no-clipped here, bud. Uh, but I, I don't see the reward. There's, there's, there's no reputation or anything like that. I, I just don't understand why the NPCs are in right now. This is something um, that you should not put in the game. Just delete key it for now, okay? Delete key it, and in the future, for Dead Matter 1. whatever, we can then say the the settlement, the, the AI update, whatever else. That's that's perfect. That is perfect. But why are they in right now? On the day of where it should be launching, like today. Why? Again, it just feels sloppy. You can fly around the map for several hours, as I did, and you can just jot down every single little issue you see, and then you fix all those issues. It can't be that hard. And of course, some of these issues are not easy to fix. The zombies flying, creating hordes in a game like this. I don't know how to fix that. That's hard. But something that just shouldn't be there, or that is clipping, that's an easy fix. And if we can revisit this quote from, again, a few days ago from Johnny, he said right here that it's not a matter of the game not being ready. Oh my god. What do you guys think? Is this game ready? They should not release it like this. If they do, which, I mean, if you're watching this, they have. I genuinely do not see how this project could recover from the backlash that will come from the public getting their hands on this on multiplayer. I don't see it. I'm hoping for the best, though. Another good zombie survival game. It's always good in my book, so that would be good to, to add to the arsenal. I honestly didn't do too much gunplay while playing because it's just kind of boring killing zombies that don't move. But you can see the gunplay right there. It's not horrible. There's a few other things which are really weird about the world, like glass being bulletproof. When you shoot glass, you can then jump through it, which it didn't take too long until I ended up getting stuck on something. But I, I, I like those ideas. They are good. If it can make glass actually work and uh, be able to make it so there's some kind of something to stop you from getting stuck, you know, say it, it performs the, the check before you go through it, you know, so you can see like, am I going to get stuck if I go through this before you go through it? Since it is just an F button press, that would be great. The map itself though, it's it's pretty big. You'll see it does have, of course, its its ends. You can see right here, this is the end of a highway and you can fall off the map in case you're wondering if you no clip or drive far away uh, enough from the main part of the map, you can indeed fall off of it. But I really think if they like were to just scrap the whole massive or 128 player online multiplayer and focused on a single player or maybe even a co-op experience, kind of like a Project Zomboid but 3D kind of thing, then maybe they could turn it around. But I'm super skeptical. I'm just theoretically thinking what could they do from here? Because uh, you either get a, a hard rug pull where it's like it's over or a slow rug pull where they attempt to make a good game continuing from what this game is right now for the next few years. I mean, that's what the early access plan is. Like I said earlier, three years in early access, which is kind of weird because last month it said a year and a half. But, uh, you know, times change. I think it's likely that we'll be doing the second option there in terms of continuing the development of this game since that is what will ultimately pad uh, Johnny's pockets the most and will save his reputation the most. So I, I don't expect them to just disappear, but I, I really don't know about this game. I remember seeing that on my video, my last video from three years ago, where I was like, oh yeah, we'll see what happens with the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, still, we'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, if you're a historian of Dead Matter, then you will know this better than me, but there's so many things that, I mean, I can name right now, I've got, got to uh, jot it down, that they either shown in a previous blog or, or talked about or whatever else, which just aren't in right now. Animals, 
be shown in older videos, but just don't exist. They'll also be a source of food for when cans are no longer easily found inside of the local Safeway. I also think that the birds are pretty when they're flying through the sky. Did you know what's not pretty flying through the sky? Yeah, that's right guys, zombies. If there's a command slash spawn animal, I think it is, there's just no animals in that list, uh, so that's good. Uh, alarm switch is not working, uh, the ability to shoot out lights, uh, being able to close blinds I don't believe works anymore, uh, there's no electricity system of any kind, dynamic snow slash seasons, and the need for warmer clothes during those seasons, no character customization at all right now. You can see on the screen how the character customization does work. It's very similar to Zomboid. I do like the premise of a system, but where did the character customization go? It was in, I believe, three years ago in the old build, so I, I don't know. There's a few words at the end of that Kickstarter we launched uh, over six years ago though now. It says we want to make this happen, and we know that we can. And that part is in italics. You can see it on your screen right now. Uh, I don't know. I think you're in over your head, mate. I think you are in over your head. I commend the dream but it is a dream for a reason. And unfortunately, you're in too deep now. Even people who do adamantly defend Dead Matter to this day, whether it's a moderator in the Discord or just someone who hasn't tried out the early access build or who is, I don't know, they've now been lied to in terms of game development before. The issue is you've put that claim into the air, so many claims into the air. So no matter what they do, really, they'll never be able to do all of those things they said they were going to get in. So Dead Matter will always be kind of a scam because of that. And I'm just so excited to play multiplayer. I am so excited to play multiplayer, guys. We will have a multiplayer video coming up as soon as it comes out, if it ever comes out. In fact, it is out. Like I said, this video is up, which means it's out. Or maybe I'm just talking about myself right now and this video never goes live. Nah, I, I, it's got to go live at some point, right? Surely. Maybe not August, maybe August 2024. But anyway, we're coming to the end of this video. We're not quite there yet. I want to show you guys the map still. I did work out how to do this third person thing as well, which is... I don't know, it's slightly concerning the amount of clipping you see with a lot of clothes, um, but you don't really see it because I'm on single player, but here's a little example of that. I do genuinely have so many small things, which I thought was funny, including these fluent zombies right here. <laughs> um, but we just don't have enough time to put them all in. Like I said, I wanted a shortish video, and even now it's not short. I would love to hear what you guys think, though. Am I being too harsh? I have a, a kind of a bit of a traumatic experience with, with being really harsh with games. Because I was pretty harsh with EFT. I was highly skeptical of EFT. And now it's one of my favorite games ever. So maybe I am being a bit too mean here. Or maybe I'm completely on point right here, guys. I'd love to hear what you think about that in the comment section below. There's so many more floating buildings for me to show you guys. And it just it just sucks that I don't have enough time to, to, to show you. I did show you earlier vehicles going underwater. Uh, people can also go underwater. There are some areas on the map where you can swim. But I believe a lot of the water on this map is uh, fake water. Not real water. So it's it's just a 2D object. It doesn't actually do anything. There's no sound effects or anything like that. But there are areas of the map where that isn't the case. Um, but that area right there, I, I got stuck in. Imagine if I was on single player and I just got an AS50. Just kidding, there's no AS50s in this game. But imagine, that would suck. A quick look at the map, you can see it's decently sized. It's got a good amount of PUIs in it, although we do need a bit of cleaning up. Red areas are unexplored, green are explored, I believe, white are spawn points, and also in this game you only have three lives. So you have a tool belt of sorts where you can put things like flashlights, radios, I'm not sure if it actually works though, wallets, you can put key cards in there, money in there, and you don't actually lose those when you die. So when you die three times, then you're dead forever, which is an interesting system, we'll see how it works out. And you can see in the new update, they actually broke the map as well. A lot of regression in this project. As I said on the Twitter, sorry, I mean x.com, uh, also, the lightning in this game, the weather effects, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, like I said, on X.com, though, I wish them the best of luck with this launch. They are certainly going to need it. Anyway, make sure to smash the like button if you think I'm right, and smash the dislike button if I'm wrong. Last video got me quite a lot of heat, for my opinion, that the game might suck. Well, I'm going to be even more controversial now and say it kind of does suck. Based off of how many issues I experienced while playing the single player for a few hours, it seems highly likely the multiplayer is going to be a disaster. This game is supposed to be primarily a multiplayer game, right? There is a pretty cool medical system in this game as well, I will say. Assuming it actually works as intended. Wow, breaking news, guys. We just fixed the zombies. Um, you have a medical items? Let's let's see if it works really quickly. There's, there's so many things I, I haven't shown you guys, though. Like, I mean, I've already mentioned the weapons are good. Let's see, place item, body... Body? Why? Okay, so that's me using it. It's body. Medical. But we'll have a look at uh, some of these things in more detail um, in the multiplayer video, okay? 
Uh, overall, I still think it's going to be a disaster, though. I still think it's going to be a disaster. But the zombies are working now. This is the first time I played the nightly build where the zombies do actually work. So that's that's good progress. It's really good progress. Dude, this game is actually so much cooler now that the zombies actually move. Maybe uh, I've made the video now. I've got to, it's got to go live, guys. It's got to. It's it's a lot cooler. We'll see. How, we'll still we'll still see how it works on multiplayer, though. But I mean, this this is pretty good. Um, let's see if it clip through things or not. It doesn't look like we want to clip through things, which is good. Oh, I'm. All right, bye, guys. Uh, good good luck, Dad. Maybe it'll work out. I guess maybe.